guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and on the last video we took a look on what i do believe to be the best alternative to the classic launcher on android tv and google tv called the f launcher i will leave a link right over here but we can do a lot and on that particular video i shared the solution that i've been using for quite some time and i thought okay this probably deserves a video to share with the community change the way that we have our experience with the remotes and our android tv box this video is sponsored by the new dodgy v20 dual 5g with a three camera setup a 64 megapixel main lens 8 megapixel wide angle lens a 20 megapixel night vision lens and a 16 megapixel selfie camera on a 6.43 amoled display with a 2k resolution taking rugged photography to the next level i will leave a link down below now the app is called button mapper and what it does is exactly change the way that we interact with the buttons now we used on the last video to change when i press the home button instead of going to the classic launcher i will go to the f launcher and that is just awesome but let's imagine that this button that says netflix right over here and i do believe that all the buttons and the design are always thinking about the majority of people and the way that we will use these devices and probably a sponsorship or a partnership which i don't criticize at all at all but let's imagine that instead of netflix i use any other app with more frequency button mapper is exactly change the way that i use the buttons now for example if there's any button that it's not listed like this one from netflix what we have to do is add button and after adding that button what happens is that there is a new button which i can assign function i have an example there where i choose if i press once i will open disney plus now if i press twice i will open mail which is an app for tv in the country where i live which is portugal and if i stay pressing the button i will open netflix so with just this change i did change the way that i use the button called netflix and in this particular case i can use disney plus i can use mail and i can use netflix and the order doesn't matter because i do believe that you are different from me and everyone is different the way that we use these devices so this is just a small example of what we can do and with the button change i changed the way that i use the remote and probably I, I didn't use this button that much and now i'm using it just to uh, open the favorite apps that i want and of course i can map all the other buttons the same way or in different ways because you have a lot of options we can choose actions we can choose apps we can choose a lot that i'm not going to share right over here i would prefer that you try it for yourself and the truth is that i believe that as i said everyone is different and you will be using a way i'll be using another way so the best that i can do is share the app with you like i'm doing right now share one example that i did right over here which i believe that will be very useful and after that you are free to customize your remote the way that you want and that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget to leave a thumbs up right over there and if you use the app leave a comment down below sharing with the community the weight that you use and if you find it useful or not my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next